All right, so maybe you're getting ready to do a Facebook Live, you got everything all set up and you're getting ready to hit that post button or that, that record button to start streaming and you are in the middle of streaming and then all of a sudden your kid, family member, friend or somebody calls you or maybe even uh, tries to FaceTime you and it interrupts your broadcast and then you are just without a, a good recording. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to prevent that from happening. Before we begin, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so you can get notified for future videos. I'd love to have you back in the next one. Well, hey guys, Juan here. Thanks for stopping by my channel and checking out this video. So I wanted to make this quick little tip video on how to stop interruptions in your Facebook Live broadcast. Now, the reason being is here I was today and I was practicing getting some things set up, making sure the audio is okay uh, for a Facebook Live. And in the middle of, uh, of doing these little practice videos, I had uh, interruption from a phone call and it was an, and a Facebook, or I mean not Facebook, FaceTime call. So I had a regular call and a FaceTime call that came in and interrupted my testings. Um, so I wanted to see how I fix that. And uh, I figured if I am having that problem, maybe there's somebody else out there in the World Wide Web that is having the same problem. So maybe this video will help somebody else like these settings helped me. Okay, so what I have here is I've got an iPad and I'm gonna show you how to fix the settings here on the iPad, but this applies to your phone or your iPad. They are the same and the settings are the same on both devices. So we're gonna dive into the settings on here to show you how to fix this. Okay, so here's my kid's iPad. I'm using it to show you the demonstration. Okay, you're gonna to wanna to go right here into settings and then here is the menu you wanna look at. Go to where it says, do not disturb. And then when you click on that, it'll take you to this settings page right here. This is the do not disturb setting up here. You wanna click that and take a look over here. I've got the Wi-Fi emblem, I've got the battery percentage, but when I click on the do not disturb icon, there was a moon that just came up right there. I'll do it again, watch, it'll disappear. Moon disappears, moon comes on. So you wanna check that box there to make sure the do not disturb setting is on. And then here is what's going to stop it, because right now, calls will still come in and interrupt the broadcast when the phone is locked. You want to turn this on to always. That fixes it to make sure that nobody interrupts your broadcast. And then also you want to make sure here on allow calls from, you want it to be nobody uh, or no one. So that those settings there will fix people from interrupting your Facebook live stream. Now, another little tidbit is if you are recording video and you're not doing live stream, you're just recording straight video, a way to stop any kind of broadcast from coming in is to hit the, well, here, just let me show you. Shooting video and you don't want any kind of interruptions at all, you would hit that airplane icon like that. That disables the Wi-Fi, disables uh, any kind of internet from coming in. But since we're doing Facebook Live and I need internet, I need that to be on so that way I can broadcast my uh, live stream out to the internet. Uh, so I can't use that setting. So make sure you're using the other settings if you're wanting to do a Facebook Live. If you're wanting to just record video without being interrupted, then that's when you would use that airplane icon and that uh, shuts off your internet, shops up, or, or stops calls and Facebook or um, FaceTime calls from coming in. So those are the two different settings when it comes to video. Okay, so hopefully this video was helpful to you. I know it took me some trial and error and testings to, to get this to work. I actually would uh, check some of the boxes and then I would have my kid call me when I was doing a test uh, live stream to, to make sure that this worked. But these are the settings that are guaranteed to work and it will prevent anybody from interrupting any type of live stream that you are doing. So uh, if this was helpful to you, make sure you throw a thumbs up on this video and if you want to go ahead and subscribe to my channel, I do help videos like this all the time. And I do tech videos uh, that may be helpful to you. So uh, thanks for watching this video, guys. And I will see you guys back in the next one.